Hi, and I hope you're having a spectacular day. Today we're going to explore the question, is Facebook's Libra cryptocurrency a wolf in sheep's clothing? Before we get started, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. I'm not smarter than you. You are smarter than you realize. Do not trust what I say. Do your own research. Now recently, uh, as of September 2nd, this is an article I picked up off of Cointelegraph, ECB's Ives Mersch warns Libra cryptocurrency is Facebook's siren call. I kind of like this graphic here with the sheep and then a wolf as the shadow of that sheep. I, I, think, that's, I think that's really uh, uh, very cleverly done. So Ives Merch, European Central Bank's key legal office, said that Facebook's Libra stablecoin is beguiling but treacherous. During a speech at the ECB's legal conference in Frankfurt on Monday. Now Bloomberg reported on the Merch's remarks in an article published on September 2nd. And per the report, he said that private currencies have little or no prospect of establishing themselves as viable alternatives to centrally issued legal tenders. So that made me think for a moment, private currencies. Where do Visa and MasterCard fall in there? Is there a possible comparison to a Visa and MasterCard as a form of a private currency? I'm not really sure, but when you compare Visa and MasterCard to something like a cryptocurrency, especially a cryptocurrency that has a stable value where you buy, five, uh, uh, buy $1 of it today and five years down the road it's still worth $1, um, a stable coin does not change in value. In my mind, and maybe I'm missing something here, but in my mind, that cryptocurrency stablecoin is very similar to a Visa or a MasterCard. Um, it's built off of a different technology and built off of a different base, and there's some other technological differences between the two, but when it comes to actual practical application, I see them as very similar in many, many different ways. And so, anyway, I just thought that was interesting. They go on to say, Merch, only central banks can be trusted. Well, what about Visa and MasterCard? Can't they be trusted? And if Visa and MasterCard cannot be trusted, then should we stop using them? Because Visa and MasterCard are not central banks. He believes only independent central banks can grant sufficient institutional banking to make a currency reliable and win public trust. Well, I have a lot of trust in Visa MasterCard and neither one of those are a central bank. So he further noted, I sincerely hope that people of Europe will not be tempted to leave behind the safety and soundness of established payment solutions and channels in favor of the beguiling but treacherous promises of Facebook's siren call. Well, if you're using Visa and MasterCard, have I left the safety and soundness of established payment solution and channels? And if I have if if you categorize or include Visa and MasterCard as one of those safe and sound established payment solutions, established payment channels, then why is it that Visa and MasterCard are acceptable and yet Visa and MasterCard are involved in Facebook's Libra? Wouldn't the safety and soundness that's already established with Visa MasterCard, wouldn't Visa and MasterCard ensure that it's also included in Facebook's Libra since they're part of Facebook Libra? Uh, Facebook Libra is managed by a consortium of 28 different companies 
and Visa and MasterCard are two of those 28 different corporations. And the 28 different corporations includes other entities like Uber, Lyft, PayPal, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And, and it has been publicly announced by Facebook that their intention and goal is to expand that from 28 con- uh, companies to 100 companies uh, sometime before or near the go-live date for Facebook's Libra. And so with that consortium of enterprise and uh, bank, banking-level institutions such as Facebook, Libra, PayPal, Uber, Lyft, All of these organizations are handling billions of dollars in transactions and are liable to their customers for the safety and security and privacy of their information. I would think that those companies would be highly concerned to maintain the safety and soundness of whatever is produced by the Libra coin since they are part of that consortium and since they have both legal and reputational obligations that they want to maintain and uphold uh, through the Libra cryptocurrency. And so I, I just found the whole thing to be quite an interesting, uh, interesting statement. Regulators worldwide have raised concerns over Libra's potential money laundering and capital control implications. After visiting the Swiss financial regulators last month, United States lawmakers are still concerned over Facebook's proposed cryptocurrency project, Libra. Meanwhile, the Bank of England governor, Mark Carney, on the other hand, has suggested a transformation of the global financial system by replacing the United States dollar with a digital currency similar to Facebook's Libra. And so it looks like on one hand, many of the different regulators out there in some countries are strongly opposed or against Facebook's Libra coin. There are other organizations and countries out there that aren't so strongly opposed to it. Um, but then again, uh, Mark Carney in this statement doesn't sound like he's commenting specifically about Facebook's Libra. He's just talking about the United States dollar being replaced by some sort of digital currency. So hard to say where they're coming from, what their opinions are without additional details. Um, But I did find the article interesting and wanted to share it with you. So thank you for listening and checking out our, our video. Please like, subscribe, and hodl. And I hope you have a fantastic day.